All right guys, welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Brandon here and today we're going to be touring the Sumner. This house is 1920 square feet with a 32 width by 60 foot in length and it is beautiful. I love the farmhouse exterior on it. I'm really excited to see what it looks like on the inside. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what awaits us behind this door. Remember, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please be sure to do so. We like to visit lots and give tours of homes. We are not salesmen. We are here just to take the tour. All right, as you make your way through the door, the first thing you're gonna notice is you do have a section right here that divides you between the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. And it's nothing but windows, which is awesome because it makes it more open and airy feeling. I love all of the light fixtures in this home. As we go through, I'll be sure to point them out. You can notice the shiplap look here on the side, continuing that farmhouse exterior to, to the interior. That look is gonna flow through the entirety of the house. Right here is a nice spot where you could put a hall tree to put your coats on, especially during the winter time or when it's raining. And the little accents in this home make all of the difference. If you look those coat handles there, Look to be either bird dogs or Labradors. Either one, I love. I have a soft spot for Labradors. Me and my wife had a yellow lab, and he was a great dog. Wow, look at this. Beautiful home. I guess let's start over here in the dining room, because this is the closest to the front door. So you can see the partition here with the windows in it that we just came through. Right on the other side of the partition is the start of your dining room. There again, this home sports the industrial lighting that flows so well with these farmhouse style homes. I'll just kind of give you a pan shot. You got one, two, three over the sink and then directly across from it where your living room is, you've got one, two, three, four large or tall windows with the smaller windows continuing all the way across the top. Really, really something that adds to this home. Speaking of light fixtures, check this bad boy out. That thing looks like it weighs a ton. It is amazing how well this goes with the decor in here. This island is also nothing to sneeze at. That is a large island. It looks like it's about three foot across by about six or seven foot in length. And if you look, it has that continued barn wood look on this side, but look at these drawers on this side. I'm not gonna open up every drawer in this home and every cabinet, but this right here is a ton of room for storage. We will look in these cabinets though, just to give you an idea of the depth. They are fairly deep for sure. Plenty of room for storage. There again, you have a super nice industrial faucet along with your farmhouse style sink. I was not a fan of the black, to be honest, in the beginning until I realized how bright and airy it is. And I really feel like that black pulls everything together in this home and actually ties it together along with the style. That gray tile backsplash is beautiful. It goes right along with these countertops that almost look like the concrete style countertops that are really kind of taking off right now. And look at that huge hood over the range. Beautiful. Matches all of the lighting that we've looked at so far. The black appliances go well with the sink. And these cabinets continue. Now one thing I do like about this cabinet is you've actually got a spot that has a plug in it. So that's pretty cool. You never know what you're gonna be charging or if you have like a coffee maker or a blender or something like that in there, you can always have it plugged up. Not that you don't have an abundance of these plugs around because look, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six plugs just on the countertop. But I really love these windows over this sink. They make a huge difference because washing dishes is never fun. Not that you'll have to because you do have a dishwasher, but if you ever do have to wash dishes in the sink, at least you'll have a beautiful view while you're doing it. All right, let's go take a look at the living room over here. Now, the first thing that I noticed whenever I walked in here, like I said, aside from the windows, is these amazing beams that are in the ceiling. Now, even though these beams may not be here for the structural integrity of the home, they're very aesthetically pleasing. It is easy on the eyes, that is for sure. This home kind of did the reverse of most homes. You have the lighter walls and the darker trim, and it really just makes it stand out. It's really a good size living room. You could put a full size couch here, a full size couch here, and you could even put a full size couch there if you wanted to. 
Let's take a look at where the entertainment area would be. They did a good job of putting more barn wood here for your wall mount. So when you hang your huge TV, there's a great place for it to sit. I do love that the electrical unit is actually already up here so you don't have all your cables hanging down, which is unsightly when you do hang your TV. It looks like you've got a plug here that you could run cable through. So say you have satellite or a cable provider, you could run your cables right there and not have all of that stuff being right in the way. So what we're going to do is instead of checking out the two spare bedrooms, we're going to go to the master first. There again, pay notice to the Ecobee digital thermostat here that is Wi-Fi compatible and will connect to Apple and Android devices. Now one thing I will point out once we step into this room, this is a good size master, plenty of room for a king size bed. You could even put a rocking chair or two in the corners in here or maybe even have a his and her nook for whenever it comes to reading or just relaxation if you have kids and you need to get away. Now the trim in this home is all done in a different style fashion. That trim overhanging right here to the side that is a good sign of a farmhouse style home. My wife actually really loves that and that's actually how our home is. Now, my favorite part, the bathroom. Let's go check it out. You can automatically see that you got a huge walk-in shower over here to this side, huge bathtub, and you, of course you can't have that big of a bathroom without double sinks. This is real tile meant to imitate barn wood with a nice rain head shower. I don't know if you can tell how big this is, but you can look at the basin on the bottom. You could put five people in this bathtub. It is massive, guys. I kid you not. Now, you may be wondering, well, where is the master bedroom closet? Well, here it is right here off of the bath bathroom, which is incredibly handy for getting dressed. It's a good-sized closet. Tons of room. No issues there, that's for sure. Here's your toilet right here to the side of it. And one thing I will point out, with a big bathtub like this, in older mobile homes, they didn't do a fantastic job when it came to plumbing and making it easy accessible, easily accessible rather. Here, they actually have an easy access port to the faucet plumbing, which makes your life a whole lot easier if you ever had issues in the future. Not that you will, but it's always nice to have that backup plan. Now with these sinks, something that is definitely interesting, you can see the tile backsplash behind it. It continues from what was in the kitchen but you have a shelf that goes completely above the sinks all the way across that just adds that much more room for you to put your stuff. Electric razors, curling irons, all that kind of stuff gets in the way and that is a fantastic place to put it. Now let's go ahead and walk back to the two guest bedrooms and take a look at them. There again, the wow factor of this home with these windows and the lighting fixtures. Ooh, I didn't point that one out earlier. That nice globe fixture really is a nice added touch. Now let's go ahead and walk back here. You can see there's a closet right here to the left that I didn't show earlier, which could be used for the kitchen pantry if you wanted it to be. Plenty of room in there, or be a good place to stash your vacuum. The first room you come to on the left is your mud room. Good size mud room. You've got built-ins over here to the left where you can hang your coats on both sides. And on this side over here, you have a built-in workstation so you can get out stains out of your husband's shirts if they're like me where I always spill food on myself. Really good size room. There's your back door, good place for exterior deck. All right, the next room that we're gonna to come to is guest bedroom number one. And this is a good size room. And one thing I really like about this home is that both of the guest bedrooms are pretty much almost the exact same size. They both have the corner lay co uh, closet, which makes the space easily usable. So when we walk into the other bedroom, like I said, you'll notice that it's almost the exact same size with the exact same style closet layout. And that closet has a ton of room. You will have no issues if your teenager or kid needs room to put their clothes, that's for sure. And last but not least, let's take a look in the guest bathroom. Plenty of room, you have a nice single piece fiberglass shower unit. Tons of room there. You've got a super nice sink. Instead of just having a pedestal series sink, you do have enough room here to be able to put, if you do have older kids, say you have a teenager that needs to shave or something like that, plenty of room to put their electric shavers, razors, all that fun stuff. Nice size guest bathroom for sure. And I like the fact that it's not a straight shot down the hallway to get to the bathroom. You actually have to walk in and take a turn to get to the bathroom. All right, let's talk about pricing. So what can you get this unit for? 
you may be asking yourself, well, here at Clayton Homes in Pelham, Pelham Alabama, you can get the Sumner for $107,900. You see that that is starting at. It says, does not include delivery, installation, and destination charge. Install prices will be higher. Included standard features, energy smart package, finished drywall, appliance package as shown, setup and delivery, central air and vinyl skirting. So if you have questions about this, be sure that you contact Clayton Homes here in Pelham, Alabama. We'll put all their information below in the link so that y'all can check them out. Let's go outside and check out the exterior of this home a little bit closer. Here on the exterior, you saw it in the beginning. You can tell that it is really geared towards the farmhouse style. We'll go ahead and take a walk around the side though and take a look around back just so you can see what it looks like. This would be an incredibly nice home, especially on a homestead or in a, a farm setting. Plenty of room. And here's the rear of the home. Super nice exterior. I hope that y'all enjoyed this tour. If you did, be sure that you're subscribed to the channel because we t do tours like this every single week. And there again, if you want to check this model out, come to Clayton Homes in Pelham, Alabama and take a look for yourself. You will not be disappointed.